Okay, so let's get busy drawing some fun maracas. Now our maracas are basically a round shape, right? We're gonna draw two maracas right here. I'm gonna put one here and one here. And they're round on the top. They overlap just a little bit on the bottom as they come down towards the stick. But we're gonna start by just putting on two nice circles, one on either side of our paper. I've got my dotted uh, dashed lines already here so I know where my center is. I can put one maraca here one maraca over here, and then we will sort of uh, round, uh, round them out so they're not just uh, perfect circles sort of as they come down towards their, their stick base, right? Because you need that stick to shake your maracas. All right, since it's uh, instrument day for our um, spirit day for Sandy Ridge, that's why I picked maracas to be our theme for today. So I'm actually just going to use a cup to start that circle off, right? So just go ahead and take a cup that you might have or anything round. I'll just draw two circles. They don't have to be exactly on the same spot on opposite sides of the paper. In fact, it may have been kind of fun if I'd put one here and one here, right? A little variety is always good. Now, now we're gonna take a look about how far we want that stick to come. I'm gonna say about right there. So make yourself a little dot about how far you want that first stick to come down. Now, my I can put a little light line on like that if I want to, so I don't go astray, right? So we got our, that's where my stick's going to be. And so my stick is gonna be sort of rounded at the bottom, right? Round it down here. So put on a nice, a little curved line right there. And then it's gonna start to get a little bit wider through here. So bring it up a little bit here and here. And then it's going to go a little bit more narrow as we get towards our maraca. So see how I'm kind of going around here, wide, a little more narrow. And then we're going to bring it out to our maraca like that okay and when we erase up all these lines it'll look nice and neat all right on the other side same thing about how far do i want this maraca to come right well we can always use our fingers to measure so on this side you see that length of my handle was to about right there on my hand so watch this i can do the same thing Hmm, about right there. So we're gonna crisscross them so their handles go across from each other. So about right there's where I want my maraca to end on this side. All right, so same thing, right? We want that rounded handle and let's take a look, right? That rounded handle, look at that. If I press my thumb down hard, it was almost about the same size as my thumb. So I can do the same thing and then I'll know about how wide I need to make that so they look similar. So let's see if I do this. We come around like that. Let's see if I've got it. Yeah, it's about the same, right? Now this time, however, we're gonna dip behind. So we're gonna jump underneath. So let's think about this. If I want this maraca, put that line down here. Look, see how it's starting to go crooked. Good thing I put that line down. So these are gonna come from here. Jump. Over. Hmm, that wasn't a good jump, Mrs. Moore. Try again. Jump. Right. And then start going in a little bit. Same thing from this side. Jump. And then it's going to start to go in a little bit before it goes out and into my circle. Right. In a little bit. it goes out to my circle All right like that now I've got my two maracas crisscrossed so now I can go back and erase my guidelines I can erase these lines and erase that line right there and then I'll come back and show you how I'm going to put some fun pattern on my maracas
little some fun pattern to our maracas if you wanted to you could put a flower on one you could put flowers on them and decorate them sort of tropical or put some stripes and patterns i'm going to do one of each just so you get a feel for what i'm talking about all right so i think on this one i'm going to go ahead and put some flowers so i'm going to start by by just putting a little cluster three little dots there like the center of my flower and i'm gonna do my petals like this Remember, have a goat. It's good sometimes to have things go off the sides of your papers, right? There's one little flower over there, and then I think I'll add my next one. We're just gonna see maybe a touch of a petal come in from over here. So it gives the impression those all being floral all the way around there and maybe I'll go ahead and just put a little a little stripe down here remember if we curve those lines just a little bit that helps give our gives it that illusion of being rounded right by curving those lines just a little bit and maybe I'll add just a little little circle up there on the top there like that all right so there's one maraca this one I think I'll just do in stripes and patterns and all kinds of fun things. So when we start with our stripes, right, it's really best to sort of start with that center one. And we know we do want a little bit of a curve. So we're actually going to do our first stripe slightly curved this way. All right, let's curve that a little bit like that. And then the next one I'm going to slightly curve that way. Like that. And then I'm going to copy that top one again. And then on the bottom here, curve this one some more like that until we get all the way down here. Now let me put some fun. I think I might put some zigzags or maybe some triangles. And have the bottoms of those triangles match those curves you're making. some polka dots through the center here. Oh. Right, small, smaller, medium, smaller again. Maybe go for a, just a striped stripe over on this side. Just do some different colors over there. Maybe I'll do a zigzag, zigzag through here. Maybe I'll even put a stripe down here on this one like that. All right, and there's my maracas. I'm going to trace them out in some black crayon and add some fun color to them. And you can use whatever you want to color in your maracas.